In a clean room at Europe's spaceport in Kourou, MetOp-C is being prepared for launch. Six years after the launch of its predecessor, MetOp-B, the satellite will now join the other two MetOp satellites in polar orbit. MetOp, or the Meteorological Operational Satellite Programme, is a collaboration between ESA and UMETSAT, the European Organisation for the Exploitation of Meteorological Satellites, and it forms the space segment of UMETSAT's polar system. With the launch of MetOp-C, UMETSAT ensures the continued delivery of satellite observations and data services for weather prediction and climate monitoring to its users. The main purpose of, of METOP is to um, provide data for the numerical uh, weather prediction. So the, essentially METOP is providing temperature and humidity profiles on the atmosphere, as well as uh, wind uh, uh, speed and direction over the ocean. METOP data can be used to make weather forecasts ranging from a few hours up to 10 days. In fact, the contribution of these polar orbiting satellites is so great that they account for 30% of the precision of numerical weather predictions. Together with the geostationary Meteosat satellites, they form Europe's pillars for operational meteorological satellites. Since the launch of METOP-A in 2006, the satellites have already gathered 12 years of continuous data on climate and weather. These long-term datasets are important, as they form the basis for monitoring our planet over long periods of time. They help us to better understand phenomena like climate change. To observe our planet from space, the METOP satellites are equipped with no less than 13 different observation instruments some of which are identical to instruments flown on the American NOAA polar orbiting satellites. As part of what we call the initial joint polar system, so in 1998, uh, UMETSAT and NOAA signed this cooperation agreement where three uh, European satellites, so three METOP satellites, were corresponding to three uh, US satellites. And for these satellites, we share uh, instruments so that the users get information from both satellites, the same types of information. So we try to create synergies between US and Europe, more benefits to our users. One of the most important aspects of the METOP platform is the synergy between its instruments. METOP data from different instruments looking at the same area at the same time allows meteorologists to derive a wide range of crucial parameters for numerical weather models, such as temperature and humidity. Originally, the METOP program consisted of three successive satellites to ensure continued data and services, whereby each satellite had an expended lifespan of six years. But with the launch of METOP-C, Europe will soon have three working METOP satellites in orbit, with METOP-A having already doubled its projected lifespan. With METOP-C, this data collection will be expanded even further and well into the future. The METOP was were planned for a lifetime of five years. The first METOP was launched in 2006 and still working uh, very well. So uh, now we are going to launch the third METOP. The purpose of the third METOP is to ensure the continuity of this uh, data until the launch of the next generation of uh, METOP, METOP SG, which is currently in development and will be launched in 2021-22 timeframe. With METOP-C soon in orbit and METOP-SG, or second generation in development, the accuracy of numerical weather prediction and climate research will continue to improve. Looking at different use cases for weather data, the social and economic importance of weather and climate can hardly be overstated. These govern our daily lives in transport, agriculture and disaster management. Satellites like METOP keep us safe from space.